Okay, here's another um, piece of faux handmade paper. It's not really handmade paper. And I'll show what I did. Okay, first I start with, uh, whoops, let's see if I can find the sheet. Okay, my 12 by 12 sheets of um, very thin uh, deli paper. Um, I have to cut this much off one side of a big stack of them. I've used in other videos. I have to, because they're 12 by 12 and my printer is only eight and a half by 11. So I have to cut an inch. Let's see, eight and a half, mm, nine, 10, 11. Anyway, <laughs> I have to cut this much off of one side and then an inch strips more or less uh, on the other. Yeah, eight and a half by 11. So I end up with all these um, pieces, this size, which are, okay, roughly about three and a half by 11 or 12, something like that. Now you don't, you don't have to do it this way in pieces. It's just a little bit more manageable. You can actually do the whole sheet, um, but I don't really need a bunch and I'd like to see, you know, what kind of, results I can get. Um, so these are great little pieces. They make great little pockets. And this one here, you see, I've already sewn a piece of lace to it. And this is the back side. And the back side ends up being nice and slippery, so things would uh, slip if you use this as a pocket in a journal, um, like this. This journal that I'm working on here, this, these are deli, this is the same paper, by the way. So you can see how pretty that would be as a pocket on one of these pages. It brings out the color, actually, when you put white behind it. And, of course, if you have something to stick into it, you know, it's kind of a, a nice little addition, which is, I think I'm going to do it exactly this, because I like it. And this is another opening, you know, this is one of those matchbook, and I'll put something also in the middle of it, but it opens up this way. And I can even add pockets to this. But anyway, this is just what I've been playing with in the last day or so. However, a pocket with one of these in it would be really cute. Okay, back to the faux paper. I start with, um, I start with, whoops, a sheet like this. And in this case, in this case, I had a pile of um, torn and shredded napkin. See, nothing ever gets thrown away. And as you can see, this big pile of napkin pieces. <laughs> it's not like it's just so important, but I don't know. Every little tiny little scrap. So what I did was using my finger I glued pieces like this and little parts of the napkin all over here and then I um, applied the glue and frankly this watered down white glue I found it easier to actually just smooth it on this paper and over these little napkin bits with, with my finger, lightly, so that I don't get everything stuck to my finger. A, a soft paintbrush would work also, and that's what I was doing before. So while that was still wet, I sprinkled, um, in this case, <laughs> thyme. So that's those are the bits that you see. I think you can see there's quite a few of them here and here filling in the in-between parts maybe over this white oh yeah here see how much easier it is to show it on white a background so now you can see all the <clears throat> all the time sprinkles in addition these almost look like dried flowers the napkins but they're not they're just dried of course, now I've got this over the dark piece, but as I move it along on the on the white piece, you can see the time in there, which I think 
actually makes it look a little bit better. So now I've got the sandwich of this with the bits and pieces of the napkin <clears throat> sprinkled with thyme and the glue is still wet. And that's when I take the white piece, thin one ply of uh, tissue from a napkin. <clears throat> and I place it on the top of all of that glued down mess, wipe it with my fingers. And, and sometimes I'll take a silicone sheet and put the shiny side down and just press it really good so I don't get any um, too many air bubbles. Of course, I do like all the little wrinkles. And that's really how I make this paper. It's just that simple. So, um, <clears throat> and here's one I've worked on that's still attached to the napkin. I haven't cut it, and it's not quite dry. I can feel it a little bit wet. <clears throat> now this one here, let me show you what it will look like ultimately over on the white. It'll look like that. And what I did with this one is similar to what I just described, but I used larger pieces of the napkins as you can see. So it kind of simulates the uh, look of, um, here's, here's a white sheet of paper, that might be easier to see. It looks a little bit more like, and it's pieces of the, uh, not even whole pieces of the butterflies, just a hint of something different. But what I did with this one first is I took uh, one of my favorite tools find it. I had it here. Oh, is a pip pen. I love these. I have them in several colors and I just love them. So I just, uh, on the plain sheet of paper, like so, I just drew line after line after line and actually making it as wonky as I wanted to. It didn't have to be straight. Just, they're not measured. They're just in the background. And then I took a water pen and a little tiny piece of my Inktense block colors and dropped in some polka dots like, see these little, the little um, pinky thingies across the whole thing. Okay, then, of course, now, now I haven't used a bit of glue yet. So then I glued the, these pieces of napkins onto, here's where it's wet still, so I don't want to get my hands on that, on it. Then I added glue across the whole thing and added this tissue napkin, which is dangling off the bottom. And that's what this one will be. But it's a, they get very, they get very uh, addictive, as you can see. This is going to be really pretty on this white paper. You can see how pretty it will be. And I can use it as a snippet roll. You know, I could just add stuff to it if I wanted. There's all kinds of things to do with this. And it's just nice because it has this great texture. Okay, so now this is my little journal I've been working on. This is just so much fun. I love this color scheme. And, and believe it or not, there's 32 pages in here to decorate. <laughs> it's going to take me quite a while, I'm, I'm sure, to, to do all of that. But now I have, um, as I said, these sheets. I have cut them off because every time I, I uh, print one. So what have I got here? Here's another one I've made. And I love the delicate. Now I used a stamp and actually, you know, I don't use, uh, so I, I, I'm not keen on stamp pads. I find that it's so much easier with these <clears throat> pit pens to apply the um, ink to the stamp and I get, I get really good results. Plus, I think this is alcohol ink and once it dries, it doesn't move with the glue. So you can see the detail I got in that stamp just by using this uh, pit pen. Anyway, so what I did was the, the plain sheet, the 
uh, pit pen stamp all over green. In between, I used another hunk of uh, ink tense blocks with a water pen to put in the yellowy ochre brown. In this case, I believe I sprinkled parsley, dried parsley. And I haven't put any lace or anything covering it. So, again, these pieces will really, really, really look very nice. And like I said, you know, they, they have a nice little see-through quality. So you get another color going if you put something like this, which is a different color, through it. So, um, yeah, this is addictive. There's no question about it. Let's see how... This would look this is a little booklet i am making this is a napkin that has been laminated so it's like paper papery on this side and uh, matte on this side but um so you, can, you can't see it completely through here but you get the idea anyway these papers are just such fun and i'm actually now looking at it i kind of like the torn edges they look like lace don't they it's not though. Okay, here's one I did with just the uh, stamping and parsley. And I don't think I added anything else, but I'm, I'm really fond of this stamp and I love green. And then I think this is another one I did pretty much the same. I may have used one of my other spices instead of uh, parsley. But um, lots you can do with this, and I just love it. So that's my play for the day.